Hey guys, more Blakey here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple 2D smooth camera follow system which can be adjusted and fine tuned to your game. If you enjoy it please do subscribe and help kickstart this channel and don't forget to subscribe to my main channel down below. Let's get started. So in this scene as you can see I can move left and right and I can jump but if I try and move off the screen as you can see we pretty much can't do that because the camera does not want to follow us which is not what we want of course and we are going to fix that using some code so just so you're aware in this scene all i have is a main camera which is just a very simple normal main camera i've got a floor which is this long platform here and then i've got a play out which is my little square and then i've got some placeholder cubes just to show that when we do get the camera moving we've got objects to compare it to so we are now going to head down here to my assets we're going to go to create and we're going to go to script and we're going to go cam movement I'm going to open this up in Visual Studio by double clicking as always. Now in our script, I'm just going to get rid of this comment in code here. And I'm going to add some references at the top. So we're going to start off with a public transform player. So this is what we're going to be following. And we're going to be dragging our player into this slot in the Unity Inspector. Then we need a second variable for speed. So all we are going to do, we are going to assign our transform dot position and we're going to be using a function called lerp so vector 3 dot lerp now lerp is a function that basically will move our position from point a to point b and we're going to give it a float which is speed and that's going to determine how fast it does that so point a is always the point we are currently at so we're going to use our current transform dot position then we use a comma and now we define where we want the transform position to move to. And that is our player dot position. So we want wherever the player moves, we want this to follow it. And we're going to use speed. And we're going to close that off with a semicolon right there. Now back in Unity, we are going to grab our cam movement. We're just going to drag it onto our main camera. Now if we select our main camera, you can see we've got these variables down here. All we're going to do, we're going to drag player onto here. And we'll just set the speed to 1 for now. And now if we press play, you can see that we can actually see nothing. Now the reason for this is, from a 2D perspective, everything looks absolutely fine. There doesn't look like there's any issues with this. But in reality, we're actually in a 3D space. And to visualize this, there's a little 2D button here at the top of our scene view. We're just going to click it, and now you can see we are in a 3D view. But you can see everything is being rendered on the same layer, on the same axes. But if we select our camera here, in the scene view, I have the Z axis set to minus 5. If I set this to zero, you can now see it's rendering everything in front of the axes, but it means it's not rendering anything on the same one. And because our floor and our player on our camera are all set to zero, the camera can't actually see them. And the reason we can't see it in the game is because we are setting the camera's transform, both the X, Y and Z axes, all to be exactly the same as the player. So this means we are having the same situation here as we are in the actual game. So to fix this, what we're going to be adding is something known as an offset. So we're essentially going to be adding a variable which is going to add on top of the Z axis that we currently have. So we're going to be combining the vector of our player's position with a new vector 3 which we're going to call offset. If you don't understand, just keep watching and hopefully it will become more clear to you. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the top here and we are just going to assign a vector 3. So we're going to go public vector 3 and we're going to call it offset. And we're going to go down to our update and we're just going to create a live vector free known as desired position because this is the position that we want it to be instead of player position so we're going to add our player position which is whatever the xyz axis is of our player and we're going to combine that with our offset now at the moment we haven't defined our offset to anything we're going to be doing that in the inspector so you can see it live so now instead of our player position we want it to be this new desired position we've just created. Now back in Unity, if we go to our main camera, you can see we've got this new offset, which is again, X, Y, and Z. So now if I press play and I don't maximize my view, you can see this is where the main camera is. It's currently following the player right here. You can see the camera. If I move this player here, the camera is following it. As you can see, the camera is here. But now if I move this offset, so if I move the Z axis to let's say minus five, you can see that it's just moved back and this is live in the game view and now we can see all of our objects. So while it's still following the player, we can offset it with these values so we can change our Z to anything. We can even change our Y 
and our X if we wanted to. So if you want your player to be down below, we can have that offset right there and it will keep it as our player moves. Now that's all well and good, but we still have one more issue that we are yet to tackle. Now one issue you may run into is that your player movement might feel a little bit jittery with this script as it is, regardless of the speed that you set it to. Now one thing we can do to fix this, if we head back into our script, we can multiply our speed by time.delta time. Now time.delta time is essentially the time between the last frame and the current one. And because this is a fixed value, it's gonna help remove some of that jittering. It can be a little bit of a confusing concept to understand, but it's always good practice to learn when to use time to delta time and when not to use it. And in a case like this, it may help to use it to remove some of your jittering. This may mean you will have to adjust your speed values. Now, if I hit play here, you can see I've got a very, very slow camera movement system. So I might want to increase that to something like one. And you can see now I've got a very nice camera follow system. It follows my player. We can actually see all of our game objects, which is always a bonus. And we can customize this in the inspector window. We can customize the speed and we can customize just whereabouts we want our camera to be compared to the player. So that's everything for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Stay tuned for many, many more. I've got many in the works. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please do subscribe as it would help the channel very much. Like I said, subscribe to the main channel, like, comment what you think and what you want to see next. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.